How much? About um, uh, it as much as you want. It depends on how much you want the vinegar, the substance to be as thick as you want. Or yeah, but there must be some ratio. One cup to one something. You know what I mean? It's just can't be arbitrary. Why don't you ask now? Fill up the whole lot with vinegar, for example. Or you just guess what? You just put it as as at least like the amount of vinegar. Oh, okay, so half half. Okay, thank you. Okay. Then you would start gently and it starts to form some chunky cards. Lumpy stuff is stuff. If it's not as chunky as you want it to be, you can add more vinegar. Oh, okay. The vinegar dictates the, the chunky stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's not chunky enough, you add a bit more. And this is or sorry, this is ordinary milk, not UHT or anything. Yeah, yeah okay. it's just ordinary milk. Yeah. Yeah. Any reason why you chose a big a sieve with big holes and not one with very small holes? Any reason why? Finer sieve. Um, or is that all I you just, have? I just decided to use this sieve. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not that much else. But mm -hmm. after sieving the thing, if you would you would you would actually remove the chunks with any type of Scraper. method you could use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'd put it on a serviette so that it could dry completely out of all that vinegar and stuff inside it. But today I don't have that much chunks. Mm -hmm. So it would be possible. But after after putting the chunks on the paper, you would necessarily fold it up until all the water is dry. If you need more um, like tissue, you would um, bring more and keep on folding until it becomes um, completely dry out of vinegar. Then, then after that, you would use any sample, any kind of shape that you want the plastic to be in. So, like for today, I've used actually a cookie cutter, which is a star, as you can see. And you would place the substance into this and just gently pat it out, pat it all down. It doesn't necessarily have to reach the top of the mold. Yes, of mm -hmm. this. It because it just needs to just be a substance that you can actually keep as plastic. So. The caution into this is like heating the milk is crucial because after the vinegar, it, you have to get it as the right size. As you have seen, I haven't gotten the exact size as it's supposed to be. But then after, you would leave it for like two days and eventually it would turn into plastic. If you're not satisfied as and it's not as hard as stone as you expect, it, expect plastic to be, you would leave it for more days and see how much, how hard it's been or yes. The benefits of this um, project is that from the early 1900s till 1945, um, the people used to use milk as to make plastic for ornaments, buttons, and anything plus people plus people would need for plastic. Um, after the plastic is useful because they can be molded into any shape that you want to and you want to be, and it can be hardened as tough as you want it to be. Um, milk can be used to make um, case and plastic. To make what, sir? And uh, what do you expect then? You expect then from Monday to last milk to get to the bottom of the table?
How much casein would you get from one litre? One litre weighs a kg. Would you get that pushed down there? Where did that come from? That's a matter of interest. Give us the sample. I, um, Did you make this? Sampled? Yes. I you actually this. made it? Yes, at oh. all. But the problem actually is is that you can get some mold yeah. in the plastic. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Kendra Kater. My name is Wilma Miranda. And our project is on Newton's Cradle. So our hypothesis is um, what, for, what um, does force travel through solids? A broad question is what, what force or energy makes a marble swing? And a specific question is why the marble swing? So what you need to build this contraption is a wooden tile, plastic rods, marble, and string, and hot glue to make the marble stick. Since it's a homemade experiment, to not go as planned as you have to hold this one because it's not, the experiment will not happen. But this can also be used to feel the energy as it's passing through. So um, the users of this um, Newton's cradle is to prove Newton's third law of to prove Newton's third law or to prove Newton's third law of motion, which says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, if you use one mo if you move one marble. The equal reaction is only one ball moves on the other side and the opposite reaction is the direction in which it moves. Ob observation is if you release one marble, the mo other marble will swing because if you release, when you release this marble, the energy is going to be transferred to the other marble which will make this other marble swing. But if you put, if you move two, then two on the other side will move because this was created by Isaac Newton and he created this to prove his third law of motion which I have already stated. is four to five acid, that's a weak acid. Here we got vinegar. Vinegar turns light, uh, light to spring, which is a strong acid. So, yeah. and here we got lemon juice. Yeah. You need the pan. Pan. Here it turns the same color as the vinegar, and it shows it's a strong acid. Now here we got some sulfuric acid, which is a high acid. It's also it's also a strong acid as well. Uh, we tested all this with with uh, red red cabbage. First we boiled it, then left it to to stew uh, for 20 minutes. And then we got our solution. And now we are going to be using uh, healthy dressing to find out which if sorry what is that? Uh, this is 
healthy dressing. Dressing? Yeah. Okay. So if it's an acid, the color will, will not turn. But if it's an alkaline, the color will turn. You can see here that, that the alkaline solution has turned to the color of that. And here for the acid it hasn't. So if we add, an al if you want to neutralize the solution of the acid, we will get our alkaline solution. We'll use soap to neutralize the solution. Whenever it's soap, it doesn't turn the same. But let's say a strong alkaline, it will turn, it will neutralize the solution and turn back into the alkaline, the normal color that it used to be. We hope you have enjoyed. Now we know science is very enjoyable. We can use science to help the community. Until, Until next time, bye! bye.